Hey everybody, welcome back to Gun Tote Minnesotan. Today I am going to be testing and reviewing the Manbly BHU3. So this device right here is kind of a combination unit and you can use it in many different ways. You could take it apart to some degree and make it apply to different kinds of tripods and bases like what I'm going to be doing today. So this by itself comes with this. So you're getting a saddle, a ball head, a 3 8 attachment underneath, as well as some adapters in the kit, all the tools that you're gonna need, a thank you card and your manual. If you've never used something like this before, that will be handy for you. So a saddle is really useful for people who maybe don't wanna deal with Arco or Picatinny specific attachments, or they don't wanna see those pieces wear out because they do, eventually your Arca plates start to wear out a little bit. You gotta start tightening them. The Picatinny ones can wear out too. I've seen that happen on softer metals. This by itself allows you to uniformly clamp on any rifle that can fit within its measurements. And I'm gonna tell you that lever guns, thin, older lever guns, I believe they're gonna fit in here just fine, but it also allows you to fit more of your precision rifles with those big arc rails or just wide forends, wide uh, hand guards. I mean, really wide. This is almost to the point of bench rifles that are specifically built to shoot off of bags. This is a very wide clamp and inside you have some threads on a bolt that are being pulled through in the aluminum and it's a really solid 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 mount the internals of the clamp you have a rubber skid pad or resistance pad right here and you actually have two mounting holes there you can choose which position you want the mounting hole in it's kind of interesting so the rubber skid pad is what your, your rifle is going to be on and then you have these side tension pieces which do actually have so you can see there, they have a texture, a grip, and it's rubberized, it's attached really well. It doesn't feel like anything that would come off. In fact, there's little lips in the aluminum right here that are gonna keep that rubber from wanting to slide out or peel off and resist. That's something I pay attention to because in Minnesota, going back and forth from cold to hot, I don't think people see it as much in other states, but a lot of things just fall apart. They do, the cold eats at stuff in a different kind of way and going from cold, hot, cold, hot, moisture, those kinds of things, humidity, we get all of it in Minnesota. And so I'm glad to see that there's lots of forethought in the design itself of the clamp, because I don't wanna be putting even a $3,000 rifle into one of these if I can't trust it. This itself seems like the, the clamp has been well thought out and lots of tension and you can really, really grab onto that uh, knob right there. It's a large oversized knob. I see spacers in here, the kind of design that I would wanna see and uh, some decent uh, tension capability. When I put it down, on a forend. I have to be careful to not over tighten it because it does have a vice like capability. The ball head itself is going to be controlled with this lever right here as well as this. And so this is going to give you your pan motion with the base underneath. And I'll show that when it's attached. And then this is giving you all the motion you're probably going to need. And it does have a recess in front. So if you want to store it, and drop it down or if you needed to shoot at a uh, uniquely steep angle down a ravine or something you could actually extend beyond the typical if i can show you there you could extend beyond the typical angles going down you could go quite steep but typically that's just going to be for storage on a tripod or something of that nature As I said, it's going to have a 3 8 standard connection here. I'm gonna put it on this Sunway Photo tripod, tighten it up, and you make sure that your pan is tight when you do this so that it can engage. And then I'm gonna loosen up my pan and test that. And it's really smooth, really buttery smooth. They did a great job with the knobs. The dials on here do not feel cheap at all. This is pretty affordable, but it doesn't feel cheap. And it's just gliding. I really like how smooth it is. There's no grit. I don't have tolerance stacking or shaking in here. It seems like the fluidity is just really pretty, pretty good. I would say that's in line with some more premium devices I've used in the past. So good job with that to Manbly. And then here again, I'm going to throw my rifle in here. My plan is actually to fan this out and use it in a unique way, kind of like a tri or try kind of like a bipod but as a tripod so i'm either going to put it in that position or all the way down more than likely like this and it will be about bipod height 
Of course, it doesn't have to go on something little like this. You could easily put this on a standard tripod because it has that connection there. But let's go ahead and throw it on the dirt and get to shooting. All right, so let's take a look at that clamp with the rifle actually in it. Move this out for a moment. As you can see here, again, a big lever. Plenty of tension in here. Not concerned at all about grip strength on this device and it's soft enough, it's not gonna mar up surfaces or your nice wood stocks, it's not gonna mar that up. There is some aluminum that protrudes a little bit, but there's enough rubber insulating it, it's not going to make contact. So I'm very comfortable with the way this attaches. I think it was well thought out. Lots of tension. I mean, this thing, <sighs> this thing is gonna hold a heavy rifle. Unfortunately, my 300 Blackout here is not quite as heavy as some of my other rifles, but you know what? It doesn't recoil a lot, and this system right here is pretty easy to throw in the car and shoot in lots of different scenarios, whether I need to shoot over snow and raise up my tripod, or I need flexibility to move around and track a target using this pan feature, or if I need to shoot up or down angles using the actual uh, head lever there for manipulating angles with that. That's uh, pretty packable, pretty usable certainly serviceable for the kind of things that I'm doing. And if I wanted to, I could switch this out and put the head itself on another tripod or a different ball if it served me better that way. Discovery Optics 4-20 on an Aruger American 300 Blackout with my Manbly BHU-3. Shooting out of the saddle here at 330 yards on a two-thirds size IPSC with these subs. Shoot right around 950 uh, feet per second. These are factory seconds, but they should still be able to connect a number of times. So depending on the way you like to orient your saddle setup, you could have your dials on the left side and center. So this is your pan, and this right here gives you full mobility, including your storage position, or if you're going to an extreme angle, up or down, there's two different storage positions there. But a lot of people are probably going to orient the dial itself 
let's move this out of the way. They're gonna orient the dial itself on the opposite side of the lever. I think you could run them on the same side and you probably wouldn't have much of an issue. It just gets a little closer to the dial. So this is the way that I would suggest it. Uh, and you could just do the exact opposite, of course. These have the advantage of being completely user adjustable to whatever you want to do. So if I want to set the pan and loosen the head, I can move this around in any position that I need to make it work for the rifle setup I have, the application if I'm doing a little bit of competition or spotting, perhaps you want to take the saddle off and install a camera or something like that. You could easily do that. This head right here could hold 26 pounds with no problem. I did shoot a Ruger, uh, a Ruger precision rifle in 300 PRC off of this. It clamped in well into the teeth. They weren't loose. It was definitely sufficient for tension in here. I can feel the density is appropriate and that skid pad on the bottom protects your finish as well as the sides. Lots of features here that you're gonna find on other maybe competitors devices, but you're not gonna find them to the quality of this one. This one does have increased quality. And so the ability to have just maybe one or two more features is nice, but it's the quality I'm looking for. I don't care about features if they don't work. And these features do work, and it did uh, exactly what it was supposed to do as advertised, worked well, held plenty of weight. Uh, I might have tested it even beyond the limits. I don't know, I'll have to go back and check. But it could at least hold my Ruger Precision Rifle, and the recoil was really, really uh, sustainable, or it was very consistent. It wasn't jumping around or sliding, and I feel like I could trust it. My groups downrange looked pretty nice. I think this lever right here, is an awesome idea. It is balanced and a little heavier on one side, so it flips around really naturally. And instead of being like a triangle or a three piece, you know where you just have to keep cranking on, this one just kind of spins around because of the momentum of that design. So that's a great idea there. There's a lot to like about this head and the ball combination. I think the part that I like the best is the fact that everything is very smooth and it locks up incredibly tight. Again, this is the Manbully BH-U3. It's a saddle with the ball head. It does not come with the tripod you saw here or any of the other extras, but it does come with the saddle, which can sit on the ball head itself. The ball head is a 44 millimeter large ball head. It has a 3 8 uh, thread on the bottom, but it also comes with two 3 8 to quarter inch adapters. This ball head and the uh, mount itself can move 360 degree rotation because of the pan feature. It also has the stowaway so it can go into a 90 degree position and fit into bags much, much better. It has a smaller clamping distance to fit more devices and especially like those thin older style rifles, lever actions, that sort of thing. Uh, rifles that don't have arca rails necessarily or something uh, wood perhaps, those tend to be a thinner fore end but it also can expand very, very wide, and it's gonna fit probably the widest rifles that I've seen, even up to like a bench style rifle. It does come with one BH-U3 uh, saddle, two of the 3 8 to quarter inch conversion screws, one Allen key, and one manual, as well as a thank you card. This can all be had for under $150, and I think it's packaged well, it's made well, and it gets my stamp of approval. Check out my links in the description. Head over to Manbly and see what else they have in stock.